My favorite type of riding is narrow tech single track, particularly if it's pointing downhill, natural trails. I absolutely love it. And here's some tips on how to get better at riding those type of trails. What are natural trails? Well, I guess I'd sort of define them as trails that just haven't been overly built. You won't find berms in them. Maybe if they're like a necessity to get around a super off camber section. Mainly it's just ruts for corners, rocks, roots, especially if you're riding in the UK in a forest like most of us do in the UK, kind of natural places where the single track are gnarly. And I think they're the most fun type of trail. So uh, let's get to it. Natural trails in the UK normally mean they've still kind of been dug in a little bit or sometimes just ridden in. So someone's kind of marks out a line on a hillside, rides in, maybe a little bit of shovel work, but generally not much that at all. But it normally means they kind of follow the flow of the hillside a bit. Like I said, the UK often in woods. So you kind of have to learn that there's likely going to be roots and tree stumps. Uh, and this is a good example actually, where you see the trail goes down it's kind of quite well used this trail and I can see as I come in there's a tree stump here and it looks like quite a few people have ridden off here but obviously if you've never come down this trail before you don't know what's the other side now I'm here I can see it's actually kind of smooth there's a two foot drop off and it lines you up really nice for that left hand corner but you just got to expect the unexpected and try and really think on your feet that's why I really love riding natural trails I'm having to make loads of little decisions all the time to try and ride them fast yeah I, I try and ride them fast but also just try and ride them well to try and be in the right space you have to think all the time quite often when i can see that the trail gets close to a tree obviously you know you know if it's been ridden a bit the roots will have dug out um if it's wet like today they're going to be slippy so quite often i'll actually try and get up fairly close to the tree obviously don't hit the bars on it this works well here because I'm coming into the right hand corner as well. So I'll try and get up close to the tree and almost lean into it so I'm using the camber. Or well, not using it, but uh, being at least in line with the camber. Obviously if I'm stood upright and I hit that, I'm going to slip. It's going to be like an off camber route. So I'll try and get in relatively quick, get close, but also lean in and almost use these roots as a bit of a burn to help me out. But also the closer you get to the tree, obviously the sort of roots fan out. So you're likely to have smaller gaps between the roots and you're not going to drop in and then slide on the next route. I kind of said it already but you need to be thinking fast when you ride natural trails especially if it's the first time you've ever ridden it or even that day compared to different day different conditions trails can change a lot so this section is pretty fast today it's actually kind of hard packed it's not that sort of stodgy and muddy so I'm coming quick and then I'm trying to line up high for this berm and I kind of, I actually took my foot off and slid a little bit. Whereas in summer, you'd be going so much faster down there. I reckon you would jump, land on that camber and then you'd come bombing in here. I reckon you'd be actually quite a lot higher. So they do change completely. So I kind of, like I said, I like that. I like thinking on my feet a lot and changing what I'm doing. This trail hasn't been ridden a lot for quite a while by this bit. So actually it's full of like, you know bark mulch and leaves on top so it is super slippy then leads you into this tight left hander where i've done it twice now and i've come inside and there's a route just on that sort of apex where i've had to do a tiny little unweight over it otherwise i think if you didn't you'd probably slip on that maybe if it was drier you might think about coming out wider coming the long way around and carrying speed out of it but these line choices will com completely change really from summer to winter but also from day to day Natural trails are where I'm using hopping and I'm waiting all the time. It just opens up the trail. Like this, it's actually super off camber and rooty. A couple of lines here, you could go low. I reckon it's probably a bit too slippy today, but still you'd have to hop over these roots because they're so chunky and off camber. Today, there's no way if you hit those, you would grip, you'd just slide straight off. So, you know, probably here, it's a tiny little unweight. So if you did a big hop, you're gonna land in something else. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay up high today. Again, off camber route, so I'm going to do a couple of tiny little bunny hops on weights. I'm hardly going to come off the ground just so I take away those roots. But I'm using this all the time. Natural trails, they might just be like breaking bumps or rocks in the trail. If you hit them, they're going to slow you down. They're going to rob you of momentum. So I'm just always, always pumping and hopping to make speed and then keep speed. 
jump on board me, I'll do a POV run and I'll talk you through the trail as I ride it. All right, let's go. Uh, it just started to rain as well, so it's a bit slippy. I quite often do a little skid, just to test out my levels of grip. So I've got a bit of an idea. I'll we'll drop here into the first steep section. Be. A big block. Whoa. Bit of a drift there. That corner's got grip in the corner. Nice little catch right there. Now I'm trying to pull out of this as fast as I can. Oh, a bit of a dab. Nice little speed. Come inside, little hop. Oh, super tight. This is going to be different wherever in the world you live, but in the UK we ride natural trails all year round, rain or shine, whatever. Uh, it does take its toll on the trails and on your kit as well. You know, things do get worn out quicker. But I know, for example, in America and the USA, that is not the case, that most places after the rain, if trails are soft, they don't want you to ride and that's fair enough. But if you didn't ride in the UK when the trails were wet, then you wouldn't ride probably a third of the year. So get out there, enjoy the wet trails. I actually love it. I think they can be really good fun. Uh, but be a responsible mountain biker. Try not to ruin trails. Don't skid where you don't need to. Although often, trails like this today, actually, I've hit this hard a few times. It's actually improved this corner loads. Yes, if it was really wet and hundreds of riders came down here, it's going to dig it out. Often I come around these sort of trails in springtime, and for the most part, they'll actually ride better after they've been ridden in those. Depends on the soil, if it's sandy or if it gets, you know, water runs down it, it can really ruin trails. You see that place like Finale where the water just makes this just a massive rain rut. So not great, but what I would say is be a responsible mountain biker, get involved with the, the trail center. Lots of trails will have volunteer sort of organizations that go out and fix the trail. So definitely get involved, help out your local trails. Give up some of your time. Uh, I don't do it enough, hands up. I haven't done it for quite a while now, uh, but I don't really have any local trials anymore, but I should do it more. Like I say, ride trials, enjoy them, but make sure you fix them where they do need fixing. But often they'll arrive better after someone's been down them in the wet. The sun jumps on natural trails that I just won't be able to do in winter, or I'll choose not to, but this one I won't be able to get enough speed to make the gap into here. But others you might find, it might be a, like a, a road jump or something, but if you do it, you'll be landing too fast, you won't have enough grip to stop. But also I'm looking for sort of natural cambers to help me out. You could cut straight across here, it's kind of off camber. I reckon in summertime, a bit more grip, you'd probably do that, It'd probably a bit quicker. But now in winter, I'm just gonna follow the flow of the trail, almost like, you know, the flow line where the water would go. And that's gonna give me a good amount of grip and I'm not risking going inside then either. <laughs> 